Ever pondered what sets Australia apart? Is it kangaroos, koalas, the Sydney Opera House, or the sacred Uluru? Perhaps it's the diverse climate with temperatures varying greatly. From tropical in the north to cooler in the south, each region offers a unique experience. Whether you're looking forward to Australia's stunning beaches or the breathtaking outback, there's an ideal season for you to travel to this beautiful country. Stay tuned as we reveal some of the unique things and animals that you can only find in Australia, so buckle up. Australia is a place that's not just a country but an entire continent filled with unique wildlife and a diverse range of Australia's native creatures, a show like no other continent can offer. Here you'll come across a variety of animals and experience different climates. Animals that have acclimated to the varied landscapes of this expansive territory, where temperatures range from a cool 15 degrees C to a scorching 40 degrees C. Next up, let's talk about kangaroos, those cool Aussie creatures. There are more than 60 types and they match the variety of Australia's weather. It can get chilly at 15 degrees Celsius in winter but, in summer, it heats up to a toasty 35 degrees Celsius. From the big red kangaroo to the cute wallaby, these animals are just awesome particularly in the spring months when the landscapes are in full bloom. Now, let's meet the stars of the show. First up, we've got the majestic red kangaroo, a real giant among the kangaroo crew. It's like the king of the outback, strutting its stuff with confidence. On the flip side, we've got the petite wallaby, a tiny bundle of cuteness that'll steal your heart. But here's the kicker. Kangaroos aren't just cute, they're marsupials. That means they carry their babies in pouches. Imagine a kangaroo mom with a little joey peeking out, it's like a built-in baby carrier. So, when you're in Australia, keep your eyes peeled for these amazing creatures. Whether it's the big red kangaroo or the adorable wallaby, they're all part of the fantastic kangaroo family down under. Up next, we have the koala, a fuzzy marsupial that spends the majority of its existence nestled high in eucalyptus trees, where the temperature can vary from 10 degrees C during winter to 33 degrees C in summer. Despite their bear-like demeanor, koalas are not bears. They are more active during the cooler months, making the period between April and October the best time to visit, to observe these adorable creatures nibbling on eucalyptus leaves or napping. Up next, wombats, another unique marsupial discovered in Australia, are recognized for their peculiar cube-shaped droppings. These nocturnal creatures prefer cooler climates and are best spotted in the food-abundant seasons of autumn and spring when they emerge from their burrows. Wombats are creatures of the night, meaning they're most active when it's dark. They really enjoy cooler temperatures, so you're more likely to catch a glimpse of them during the comfy seasons of autumn and spring. That's when they come out of their cozy burrows to explore and find some tasty treats. Speaking of treats, wombats are all about the food. When the surroundings are bursting with goodies during autumn and spring, that's their prime time to venture out. Keep your eyes peeled if you want to spot these little cube poop experts doing their thing. Coming up next, let's talk about the famous Tasmanian Devil. These little guys are only found on the island of Tasmania, and they're small but really tough, carnivorous marsupials. Tasmania, their home, has a kind of moderate climate, with temperatures ranging from 3 degrees Celsius in winter to a nice 22 degrees Celsius 37 degree F to nice 72 degree Fahrenheit in summer. Even though Tasmanian devils are known for being tough, they actually help keep Tasmania's ecosystem in balance. Now about the weather there, spring and autumn are the seasons when the temperatures are just right. Around 15-20 degrees C offers an ideal setting for observing these devils in their natural environment. Up next, meet the quokka, frequently referred to as the world's happiest animal. These small, round marsupials hail from Western Australia, particularly the Rottnest Island, where the temperature stays around a pleasant 20 degrees C throughout the year. With their friendly demeanor and constant smile, quokkas are a favorite among visitors. The mild weather of spring and autumn is the best time to visit. Australia's diverse wildlife is a major attraction for nature enthusiasts worldwide. From hopping kangaroos to smiling quokkas, these unique creatures add an element of enchantment to the Australian landscape, ensuring every visit to this fascinating continent is a memorable escapade. Up next, eucalyptus trees. Australia's landscapes are as diverse as they are beautiful. We begin with the eucalyptus trees, an integral part of Australia's flora. Scattered across the continent, these trees are a symbol of the resilience of the Australian spirit. Experience their full bloom during the milder months of spring, September to November and autumn May, when the weather averages between 21-30 degrees C. Now we're transitioning. From land to sea, up next, 
The Great Barrier Reef is like the biggest coral neighborhood you can find anywhere in the world. Picture it as this incredible underwater city just off the coast of Queensland. It's not just a bunch of rocks, it's a vibrant community where all kinds of sea creatures hang out. If you're thinking about taking a dip into this magical underwater world, the best time to do it is from June to October. During these months, the weather is pretty awesome. It's dry, not too hot, and just perfect for some underwater adventures. The temperature hovers around 24 degrees C, which is just the right kind of cool for snorkeling and diving without feeling too chilly. And let me tell you, there's so much to see down there. It's like a bustling city, but underwater. You've got colorful coral, schools of fish just doing their thing, and who knows what other surprises might be waiting for you. So, gear up and get ready to explore this incredible aquatic spectacle. Up next, the Sydney Opera House, an iconic architectural feat that needs no introduction. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its sail-like design, showcases human creativity. Australia's landscapes exemplify the country's natural allure and architectural expertise. From unique flora and vibrant marine life to legendary landmarks and mesmerizing panoramas, Australia is indeed a land of striking contrasts. We hope you're enjoying the journey so far. Australia's landscapes and wildlife certainly have a way of capturing hearts, don't they? Speaking of Australia, did you know it's generally warm here? The country experiences an average temperature of about 30 degrees Celsius in summers and the winters are much milder, averaging around 15 degrees. If you're mesmerized as we are, why not give this video a thumbs up and support our small channel? Consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell. You'll be the first to know when we release new content. Don't forget to share this with your fellow travel enthusiasts. Now buckle up mates. With the temperature details in mind, there's still so much more to see and do in Australia. Let's continue our adventure down under. Up next, the Australian Open, a country of unique charm, hosting remarkable events and home to islands that are well worth a visit. Our journey commences with the Australian Open. This Grand Slam tennis tournament held in the vibrant city of Melbourne is a fantastic January rendezvous. Melbourne's summer weather, with average temperatures of around 26 degrees C, 78 degree F, is absolutely perfect for enjoying the electric matches, the lively atmosphere, and the city's cosmopolitan charm. Melbourne's average annual temperature ranges from 10 degrees C to 20 degrees C, 50 degree F to 68 degree F, making it comfortable for visitors throughout the year. The Australian Open isn't just about the tennis, it transforms into a cultural celebration with live music, food stalls and entertainment adding to the festival ambiance. Up next, Kangaroo Island from the city's hustle and bustle, we travel to the tranquil Kangaroo Island, a wildlife haven off the coast of South Australia. Here you will encounter charismatic creatures like kangaroos, sea lions and koalas in their untouched habitat with an average annual temperature ranging from 14 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius, 57 degrees Fahrenheit to 72 degree F, Kangaroo Island offers an appealing climate to explore its contrasting landscapes, from pristine beaches to rugged cliffs and eucalyptus forests. The island also boasts a fantastic food and wine scene, transforming it into a paradise for food enthusiasts. Up next to Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island, located off the coast of Queensland. This UNESCO World Heritage Site astonishes with its unique phenomenon of ancient rainforests growing out of sand dunes, crystal-clear freshwater lakes, and a 75-mile beach that serves as a highway and a landing strip for planes. The average temperature on Fraser Island is from 22 degrees C to 28 degrees Celsius, 72 degree F to 82 degree F, throughout the year. But we suggest you avoid the stinger season from November to May when the temperatures can soar to 30 degrees C, 86 degree F. From the adrenaline rush of a Grand Slam tournament to the serene beauty of island life, Australia presents a diverse range of experiences. Australia is a treasure trove of natural wonders. Up next, the Daintree Rainforest venture into the Daintree Rainforest, where the average temperature ranges from 24 to 30 degrees Celsius, is like stepping back into millennia. Being the oldest tropical rainforest in the world, it thrives with diverse species and unique wildlife. It's a living testament to Australia's incredible wildlife. We covered the Daintree Rainforest a little bit more in one of our last videos. Forest be sure to check it out, the link will be in the description. The best time to explore this green heaven and biodiversity is during the cooler and drier winter months, from June to August. Up next are the pinnacles we journey to Western Australia. The Pinnacle Desert is located in the Nambung National Park near the coastal town of Cervantes. 
the Perth to Pinnacles Drive is 200 kilometers and will take approximately two hours from the city center. From Perth it's a landscape, with thousands of towering limestone formations that protrude from the golden sand. The Pinnacles a fascinating tale of natural history, a testament to the power of time and the elements. With average temperatures falling between 22 and 35 degrees Celsius, spring and autumn are the most favorable seasons to visit, offering a comfortable climate. Now, up next, the Australian Alps visualize a place where snow-capped peaks reach towards the heavens. Envision the Australian Alps in the southeast. This mountainous region spans Victoria and New South Wales, featuring high-altitude terrain and diverse ecosystems. During winter, a blanket of snow transforms the landscape into a breathtaking winter wonderland. Picture vast mountains dotted with snow-covered peaks like Mount Kosciusko, the highest in Australia, creating a stunning contrast against the blue skies. This picturesque scene attracts nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers, offering a beautiful and rugged beauty. The best time to visit varies with interests. Winter from June to August is ideal for skiing and enjoying the snow-covered splendor. Summer from December to February unveils alpine meadows in full bloom, perfect for hiking and exploring diverse flora. The Australian Alps, with its dynamic seasons, promise a unique experience year-round appealing to both snow enthusiasts and those seeking temperate adventures. Expect winter temperatures ranging from minus 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees C, 23 degree F to 50 degree F, and summer temperatures between 5 degrees C to 25 degrees C, 41 degree F to 77 degree F, and alpine lakes glimmer in the sunlight. This, the Australian Alps, a snowy wonderland that's ideal skiing and snowshoeing. The Alps transform winter sports haven with thick snow cover. As you journey into the heart of the country up next, you'll uncover the Great Victoria Desert, Australia's largest desert, a vast expanse of red sand spinifex grasslands and salt lakes. The Great Victoria Desert is Australia's largest desert, spanning Western Australia and South Australia. Known for its harsh arid climate and vastness, about 134,650 square miles, it features unique flora and fauna, including spinifex grass and the thorny devil lizard. Indigenous groups like the Pitjantja Jara have a deep connection to the land. The early 19th century Europeans' exploration, much of the desert remains remote and sparsely populated. To truly appreciate its stark beauty, visit in spring or autumn when the temperatures are more bearable. With daytime temperatures often exceeding 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are milder, but nights can be quite cold. Up next let's transport you to Whitehaven Beach. Tucked away in the Whitsunday Islands, it's famous for its pure white silica sand and turquoise waters. It's akin to a slice of paradise on the best time to enjoy its beauty is during the dry and cooler winter months when the skies are clear. During these months, temperatures range from 20 degrees C to 26 degrees C, 68 degree F to 79 degree F, June to October dry season. This is considered the best time to visit and the ideal conditions for activities such as snorkeling, sailing and exploring the islands. Australia's natural wonders are an outdoor enthusiast's and nature lover's paradise. From ancient rainforests and fascinating deserts to snowy mountains and untouched beaches, every corner of Australia presents a distinctive piece of nature's majesty waiting to be discovered and treasured. Up next, the Barossa Valley, one of Australia's premier wine regions, is renowned for its distinctive wines. Nestled amid undulating hills and sprawling vineyards, the region attracts wine enthusiasts from all over. The winemaking fervor here is profound, a legacy passed through generations. What sets the Barossa apart is its Mediterranean climate, with hot dry summers averaging around 29 degrees C, 84 degree F, and cool wet winters, where temperatures can drop to 7 degrees C, 44 degree F, coupled with its ancient soils. This climate is perfect for growing grapes, producing wines that are rich, full-bodied, and incredibly unique. From robust Shiraz to delicate Rieslings, each bottle tells the tale of its origin. More than just wine, the region is alive with art, music and world-class cuisine, offering fusion of European charm and rugged Australian beauty. For the best experience, plan your visit during autumn from March to May. This is when the harvest in full swing, providing a unique tasting and witnessing experience. If you're a wine connoisseur, A. The Barossa Valley provides an unparalleled wine tour opportunity in Australia. As we reach the climax of our sun-soaked adventure, we sincerely hope you've been enchanted by the distinctive allure and awe-inspiring beauty of Australia. Known for its generally warm climate, 
Australia's weather is enticing with an average temperature ranging from 15 degrees C to 30 degrees C. Mild winters and hot summers make it an irresistible destination. From its unique wildlife to its stunning landscapes, iconic landmarks, acclaimed wines, Australia is a treasure trove of diverse experiences waiting to be discovered. The most ideal time to visit this varied land is during spring or fall when the weather is incredibly pleasant. But remember, our exploration doesn't need to conclude here. If you've enjoyed this journey, do give us a like, and share this video with others who might be excited to set out on future quests with us. Subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss the chance to uncover new wonders of our amazing world we'd absolutely love to hear from you too. What was your favorite part of the video? Do you have any queries or maybe a suggestion for where we should venture next? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for accompanying us on this remarkable Australian adventure. Until we meet again stay adventurous mates.